it's time to do some basic editing inside of Avid Media Composer. Before we begin, we will need a new sequence. Now, of course, there's many ways to create a new sequence. The two most common ways are to right click in the sequence window and to simply say new sequence, or you can choose one of your clips, call it up into the preview window, mark it in an out point, and when you press the overwrite or insert key on the keyboard, a new sequence or timeline will be created for you. How I normally work is I like to just right click and say new sequence. Now something that you'll need to get accustomed to if you're coming from a different nonlinear editing application is that commonly what happens is when you call a clip up and go to drop it into a new timeline, you'll be asked if you want to create a new timeline that matches the parameters of that clip. What's important to keep in mind inside of Avid Media Composer is that your timeline will directly match the preset that you have set up for your project. In this case, it's set to be 720p 23976. What I'm going to do is just switch back to bin view. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna choose one of these clips to edit into my new timeline. I'll just choose this clip to call it up into the preview window. I'll simply double click on it. Now to add an in and out point to the clip, you can simply use the I and O keys on the keyboard, obviously I for in, O for out, and you can get to those in and out points by either dragging through the clip and finding the part that you want, or what you can do is simply press play on the keyboard by pressing the L key, and once you get to the point that you want to mark the in point, simply press the I key. Once you get to the point that you want to mark the out point, you're simply going to press the O key. Now if you're working with a longer clip, you can always press the play key multiple times to double speed through and triple speed through, again depending how long your clip is. Now you'll see that I press the O key on the keyboard to mark the out point, and to get this clip now into the timeline, I can simply press B on the keyboard to overwrite, V to insert, or I can take the clip and drag it and drop it right down into my new timeline. Now you'll notice that by default, because of the way my timeline settings are set up, I have a video and multiple audio tracks. Now if I wanted to get in and add the next clip to the timeline, the technique is the same. I do want to point out though, some editors do like to work with multiple layers when they're dropping clips into their timeline. To create a new layer inside of your Media Composer timeline, you're going to press Command and Y on the Mac, Control and Y on Windows, and a new video track will be created. Obviously, if you press it multiple times, multiple video tracks will be created. To create new audio tracks, you can simply press Command and U on the keyboard, Control and U for all my Windows friends, and that will create new audio tracks for you to work with. Now, of course, we are posed with the question, once we've created this new video track, how do we actually get the video from video one to video two? How I see many editors working is they'll take their next clip, They'll come down, I'll just mark an in and out point about here. They'll take this clip, they'll drop it into the timeline, and then what they'll do is they'll use the segment tools to drag this clip up to the next video layer. That is a multi-step process that you don't need to go through. I'm just going to undo what I just did. I'm gonna turn the segment tools off. What I'm going to do with this clip is I'm just going to patch it from video one to video two by simply dragging from video one up to video two I've now repatched this clip up onto track two of my timeline, and now when I hit B on the keyboard to drop it in, it is now up on video two. Now, what is the difference between an overwrite and an insert edit? The overwrite command on your keyboard is the B key on both Mac and Windows. I'm going to call up a new clip. I'm just going to double click on this clip here. Again, I'm just going to mark an in and out point by pressing I and O on the keyboard and I'm gonna to come to this edit right here. I'm gonna hold the Command key on the Mac, the Control key on Windows, to snap to this edit point. And if I want to do an overwrite edit, meaning I wanna take this clip and I wanna lay it in over top of the clip that's there, I'm going to use the B key, the overwrite key, to do that. Now I'm gonna turn off my other layer so this doesn't impact any other clips that might be on any other video or audio channels below it. And I'm going to press B on the keyboard and you'll see that this clip has now been laid directly over top of the clip that was there. Now what if I wanted to take this clip and push the other clips down the timeline from where I am right now? I'm just going to undo what I just did. In this case, we'll be using an insert edit. An insert edit shortcut is V on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows. And you'll see that when I press V on the keyboard, this clip has now been added to my timeline and everything else has been pushed down. 
Now what's important to keep in mind, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the segment tool to bring this clip back down to V1, is that if I come back to another clip, let's just choose this clip, I'm gonna turn segment mode off. Again, I'm going to add an in and out point. If I leave this clip patched onto V2 and I press the insert key, V on the keyboard, you'll notice that nothing has been pushed down. The reason being is because I only have V2 selected. If I wanted to push things down on other channels, if I select V1 as well and now I press insert, you'll see that any clip that's on any selected layer will be affected by the insert. Now what's important to keep in mind is that the technique that I've shown you, obviously being done to just video, works exactly the same if we're editing audio into our timeline as well. You'll use the same technique of patching the audio onto whatever channels you happen to need it on, and then you'll use the insert or overwrite keys to perform the specific edit function that you need to have done.